In Pixel Art Academy, you play as an artist studying at Retropolis Academy of Art. Your goal is to learn how to create pixel art. For that, you'll need to practice your skills, level up, and complete harder and harder quests. The main companion you'll use is Pixel Boy 2000. Now, different NPCs around the Academy will give you various assignments to complete. The school year has just started and my character is in the middle of the first storyline quest, which is a tutorial for how to play the game. So let's just take a look at all 7 videos from week 1 put together. Hello and welcome, my name is Matej Jan, but you can call me Retro and this is the No Bullshit Pixel Art Tutorial. Everyone can do pixel art and it's used for many different things. Game art, album art, magazine illustrations, even web pages. You can make paintings, t-shirts and your grandmother probably did it before you. So what are you waiting for? Fire up your favorite drawing tool and open up a blank canvas. Make sure there's a way to place down individual pixels. Zoom in as close as you need and start doing some pixel art. You can begin by copying existing pixel art until you get used to the tools. Start from small to big and black and white to color. By the end you should be able to use the pencil, bucket, eraser and color picking. Pixel art was born out of the limitations of early computers. You can find inspiration in sprites, images from 2D computer games. Many recognizable characters were created within the constraints of their small canvas size. After you've got your reference, you can place it in your image on a new layer, open it up side by side, place behind the canvas, on a separate screen or just look at things from real life. Turn on the grid set to your sprite or tile size. Use the same number for subdivisions or turn on the pixel grid. If you set the spacing down to 1, change the style to dots. If your pencil behaves funny, turn off step to grid. Stop copying existing pixel art as soon as possible. When you get to bigger sprites, use the original only as a loose reference. Eventually change the reference to a photograph and now you're creating your own pixel art. The lecture notes will expand on the video and give you action items. Most of them will require you to create a quick drawing and at the end, a slightly bigger final project that completes the quest. You will do that by uploading artworks in your studio. You navigate around the world by simply typing commands or with a point and click interface. Now, the campus map will let you explore different locations and meet other NPCs and other players. That's because Pixel Art Academy, like life, will be a multiplayer online game. And it will run directly in your browser. Here we are in the studio. Let's take a look at the works we've completed so far. My pet peeve with most online galleries is that they put your artwork in a small little box, surrounded by ads and tons of menus, so I wanted Pixel Art Academy to give you a place where you can really enjoy exploring artworks. Another thing I wanted to do is demystify how artworks are created. Let's take a look at a portrait I did. First of all, you can see that this is based on a work by Amber Hard Games for his game Career of the Crypts. By the way, the game's out in early access on Steam, you should totally check it out. The game encourages you to upload the progress every day so you can build a time lapse of your piece and others can learn from your creation process. At this point something interesting happened. The artist Fool offered a paint over of the piece. Now, a paint over is a version created by another artist, usually for instructional purpose. In this way I was able to use that as an influence and improve things like the eyes, eyebrows, darken the hair for better depth and separation, while still retaining my own style. When you upload works to Pixel Art Academy, you can list references and influences and the game will use them to draw such diagrams. Alright, let's go back to the studio. When you upload an artwork, even a small daily sketch or a work in progress tab, the game will record it on a timetable. This is how you can participate in challenges such as the Pixel Dailies on Twitter or the Give It 100 challenge where you decide you're going to improve something like Pixel Art and dedicate 100 days and see how much you can improve. I've done it, it's super fun, and if you want to complete it on the hard difficulty, you have to do it in 100 days straight. Shout out to Karen and Fimber for coming up with it. So the timetable lets you track when you draw or even just read something new. In fact, even though the game will provide its own tutorial, a very important part will be the virtual library. As you explore the campus, you will come into contact with different societies, like the gamers that will teach you about tile maps, or the dolls that will teach you how to make sprites. Each of them will have their own values and aesthetics and a library of online articles. When you discover these articles by playing through the game's storylines, they will be added to your databank. Most of the game will be played by collecting articles and using them to create better artworks, giving you more experience, improve your skills so you can eventually level up and achieve intrinsic fulfillment. And that's Pixel Art Academy. Or better yet, what it will be in one year. But there's one more thing. While most schools require you to read boring papers, at the Academy you will be assigned to read Retronator magazine. 
This is the most popular publication in Retropolis and it features artists, communities and video games. Like Tower 57, which is totally on Kickstarter right now. In fact, just stop watching this video, go watch theirs, it's so much more awesome, why are you even still here? Like the works in your gallery, Retronator magazine is also beautifully designed, but the best thing, Retronator magazine will be available today. Actually, it's been for two months now. And now for the word from the developer, which is totally new, so this is a little bit weird. Take it away, Retro! Hello and welcome, my name is Matei Jan, but you can call me Retro. If you know me for any of my artworks, big shout out to you. Uh, I also run this pixel art blog called Retronator. Over the past five years, Retronator has grown from a small personal place to one of the best pixel art tumblers out today. Somewhere along the way, I also made a tutorial video on how to use the free drawing tool PIN to make pixel art. I wanted to do a follow-up ever since, and that's what Pixel Art Academy is all about, and way more. The funding goal is set really low, because I will be doing this in any way. But if you ever wanted to support me, if you like my Tumblr posts, my Retronator magazine articles, if you like any of my artworks, uh, if you want to have any of my artworks, all the help will be super appreciated. But I know not everyone can spend uh, money like this guy here, so the, together with the rest of the world, at the zero dollar reward level, you will already get access to all uh, the educational content. But somebody still needs to make that content, so if you want to support that, if you want to have early access to the system while I'm building it, if you want any of the rewards down below, I will be super happy for your contributions. If this is the first time you heard about Retronator or me, I want to leave you with a video of all my previous projects. Hopefully they'll give you some peace of mind that the project is in good hands. And if you support this project, I will send you weekly updates and hope to see you on the other side.